This is the all new Hollyland Lark M1. It's a simple budget friendly wireless lavalier microphone system that's perfect for content creators and video producers that want high quality audio and don't want to break the bank. The Lark M1 has an AirPod style design with one receiver and two transmitters in a charging case. It's a very small compact system that can easily fit into your pocket. The Lark M1 features a plug and play design with omnidirectional sound, a hear clear noise cancellation mode that cuts down on the noise around you up to 200 meters or 650 feet of range with a stable connection and compatibility with a range of devices from smartphones to cameras to computers. The Lark M1 is rich with features and gives you access to professional sounding audio at a budget price. And best of all, it is super easy to use. And that's what makes this thing so exciting. As a matter of fact, I'm actually using the Lark M1 for all of the talking that I'm doing in this video. I have it wired up to my Sony a7C over there and I have the gain set to low. So all the audio is being recorded straight to the camera. Hopefully this should give you guys a pretty good idea as to how this thing sounds. Test one, two, test one, two. How does this sound? The Lark M1, I'm using it right now. So to rewind a bit to the unboxing, in the box with the Hollyland Lark M1, you'll find a very nice fabric gray carrying case for the system and all of the included accessories. Inside that case, you'll find the Lark M1 itself with those two transmitters along with the receiver in the charging case. The system is mostly made of plastic, but it feels solid and very well made. You'll also find some fuzzy windscreens for the transmitters that will help on windy days, a TRS patch cable for cameras, a TRRS patch cable for smartphones, a USB-C charging cable, and of course, manuals and documentation. The Lark M1 is a nicely designed microphone system that's sleek, super lightweight, and very reminiscent of AirPods, you know, with the charging case and all of that. This kind of style works really well for wireless microphone systems like this. Its small design also makes it perfect to use with a wide variety of different devices, from smartphones to action cameras to even regular cameras without getting in the way and adding weight to your rig. It just clips right onto the cold shoe and you're good to go. As far as sound quality goes, the Lark M1 sounds very nice. It uses the LC3 codec to deliver an enhanced sampling rate of 48 kilohertz or 16 bit. Voices are bright and clear with a good amount of depth and detail. It also has three preset volumes built in with high, medium, and low. With no display, it's kind of tough to see what preset is being used, so you're going to have to monitor your audio levels on your camera. In addition to this, the Lark M1 has two modes, a mono mode and a stereo mode, which are indicated by blue and green lights on the receiver. Most of the time, you're going to be using in the mono mode unless you want your audio separated into left and right channels. I also noticed with some cameras like the Insta360 ONE RS, you're only going to be able to use mono mode to record external audio, so your device will also be a factor in how you can record with this thing. In addition to great sound quality, the Lark M1 also comes with excellent battery life. You'll get about eight hours out of each transmitter and eight hours out of the receiver. Add in the charging case and you can get up to 20 hours of total runtime on a single charge. That is pretty impressive for such a small system. Battery life is one thing that I never had an issue with. It's something that you're not going to have to worry much about, especially since each little device has a USB-C port for external power. The Lark M1 is always there and ready to go when you need it, and that's really what matters most at the end of the day when you're filming. So now that we have all of that squared away, I think it's time we do something a little bit different, like test both the microphones together, test the range, use different devices, and all of that fun stuff. Sound good? Let's get out there and do it. Hello, everybody. We're out here. Hello. There's webs. I'm here. She's here. We're out here testing the Hollyland Lark M1. I have it on my collar right here, the little transmitter receiver on top of my iPhone. I have mine right here. Yeah, you have one too. Yes, so we're I do. testing out the dual setup. There's the two. two. The two microphones. That's what dual means. Yeah. Two. <laughs> That's what dual means. So I figured we'd do a little range test too as well. She's back there. All right, goodbye. I'm up here. You can keep talking. Yes. I heard you had a pretty good day today, didn't you? I did. So my day started, I went to go tutor at precisely 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Mm -hmm. So I'm driving up their road That's good. and it's very windy. And I see something in the road and it's a little brown thing. And I'm like, huh, that doesn't look like a branch. Huh. I'm like, that looks like a cat. Cat. So I pull my car over and lo and behold, it is a cat. Wow. So I call the cat over, I go psh, 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 psh. And then the kitten, it was a little kitten. It came up to me, started meowing at me, rubbing all over my feet. So she let me pick her up. So now I have this cat. There's She's no so collar cute. on the cat. So I can't return the cat because I don't know where the cat belongs. <laughs> so so I put the cat in my air conditioned car and I drive to the tutoring place and I'm like, hey, listen, I can't stay here. Mm -hmm. So she goes, no, go to this vet down the road, check and see if it has a microchip. I said, okay, thanks. So I did, brought it to the vet. Uh -huh. It has a microchip, baby has a microchip, but it is not registered. Uh. So there is no information on the microchip. Mm -hmm. So we do not know to whom this baby belongs. So long story short, now this cat is in my house. She is being quarantined in my office because we don't know what's happening. 
And that's what, cat number five, right? Cat number five. Yep, five number five. So number five I'm cat. a crazy cat lady. And um, so she's on a seven day stray hold. And if basically her family doesn't come forward in the next seven days, then we will be adopting her. So her name is Summer. She's so cute. She's very sweet. She's she is a adorable. Sweet little girl. We will keep you posted yes. on Summer. So one of my favorite things about the Hollyland Lark M1 system is that you can use it with a wide variety of devices. I'm actually using it right now with my iPhone 13 Pro and I have the little transmitter attached right to my collar here with the fuzzy windscreen because it is quite windy. It does seem like there's a storm about to brew. It's about 100 degrees out here, very, very hot. So if it does start raining, I might have to run and duck inside. But yeah, this is a very, very good vlogging rig that I have going on here. I have the iPhone 13 Pro with the Lark M1 receiver right on top. Top. In addition to that lightning adapter, which is right over here, I'm pointing to it. I will show you guys what this looks like. It's a great little vlogging rig. It's something that I'm definitely going to be using for conventions, events, for travel, for things like that. It's a very compact setup with high quality footage and high quality audio. So it's starting to rain, but this is a test of the Hollyland Lark M1 outside with the iPhone 13 Pro. At the end of the day, the Hollyland Lark M1 is a fantastic, easy to use microphone system that's going to greatly benefit any content creator or video producer on a budget. This system is small, compact, and easy to use with excellent battery life, range, compatibility, and reliability. It's a versatile microphone system that will help you out in a wide variety of scenarios, no matter what it is that you're shooting. The design of the Lark M1 is really great. I like it, but I'm going to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of the big branding on the transmitters because it always ends up being in the shot like it is right now. It's not something to knock it for though, because this is something that is happening with all of these wireless lav systems nowadays, from Rode to DJI to Hollyland here. Luckily, if it really bugs you or gets in the way, you can cover it with electrical tape or something like that. I also do wish that there was a bit more flexibility here with the controls. You can only adjust the gain to high, medium, or low, and nothing in between. If you want a little more flexibility and control in your audio, this may not be the wireless microphone system for you. However, if you want something that's simple, affordable, easy to use, and just works when you need it, the Lark M1 here should definitely be at the top of your list. As you guys have been hearing throughout this entire video, this thing sounds great. It sounds really, really good it performs beautifully has great battery life and best of all it is affordable anywho that's about it for this video my friends i hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful if you did and you liked what you saw be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel also don't forget to follow at ray Strassis on twitter and instagram for much more until the next one i will catch you guys later peace